All right, back out again. Um, it was an absolute scorcher of a day today, so it was about 40 degrees Celsius, which for anyone else out there, it's like 110-ish, I think, Fahrenheit, somewhere around there. Um, so I'm out in the hills in a spot that I know you should be able to get a species of snake that seems to like coming out on warm nights, so hopefully... Um, it's a good night for those guys. Um, but yeah, so just going to do some road cruising. There's this road here and then probably another couple gravel tracks that I'm going to check out. Um, and I might be joined by someone else, but we'll see how that goes and come along for the ride. Just quickly stopped to have a little look around this fallen tree. Um, but this would have been a massive tree. Huge. I wonder how old it was before it fell down. But yeah, just massive. It's been down a while, but by the looks of it, but providing lots of good habitat. There's a little burrow down here. I'll just flip this around. And you can see here uh, burrows and stuff all in all this sort of like fallen logs and broken roots there's another massive tree over that way that's fallen down um lots of good habitat around here so i'm gonna have a little squeeze around there won't be anything out right now it's probably a bit too warm still um but yeah i'll we'll definitely be coming back here later tonight all right first half of the night oh Underwoodosaurus Millie still has its original tail. It's a nice looking one, actually. Yeah. These guys always have really cool patterns. Yeah. We'll move this little guy off the road. Oh yeah. Um also Aaron's here. <laughs> but yeah. Cool little guy. Why well, take a macro of him? Is he still in that pose? Pretty much. Yeah, cool little guy. Still pretty early tonight, so hopefully we'll find some snakes. But yeah, we'll just scoot this guy off the road, grab some shots, and then keep on going. Right, so another herp, but a couple possums. They look like they're just... <laughs> <laughs> they gave me the look that they'd just been sprung in the cabinet that they weren't meant to be in. <laughs> it looks like they were just gnawing on some tree sap. Yeah, uh, still no more herps, but maybe change locations and see what pops up. All right, so we've gone for a bit of a walk down to this little creek. Um... Now, I probably won't be able to get any photos of this guy. I should be able to get a video. <laughs> and Aaron's just annoying stuff. Did you hear that? Yeah. But here is a slender tree frog. Let me try and get this in here for you. I'm just getting covered with bugs. But yeah. Slender tree frog. These guys are always hard to photograph because they like to hide. <coughs> and I'm inhaling bugs. <coughs> um, Aaron's over the other side. But yeah. Um, hopefully we'll find some more stuff. There's also over here a motorbike frog somewhere. A big fat one. It's moved on from where it was, but it'll be around here somewhere. But we've seen motorbike frogs on the channel before. Yeah, hopefully find some more stuff. Uh, 
Alright, so next here for the night is the target species for the night. And he's been a pain in the butt. Um, trying to escape under the soil, but here we've got a Mally blackback snake, which is a suitor. We Negriceps. Stunning little elapids. These guys aren't considered dangerously venomous, but their bite is mm, not the best. So you generally don't want to get bitten by it. Um, but yeah, very stunning snake. So these are nocturnal, feeding on lizards and things like that. And they do get a fair bit bigger than this. Yeah, he's been a bit of a pain to photograph because he keeps coming out of the hide and we almost lost him in the leaves. But yeah, so I'm going to grab some shots of it and then hopefully I'll put them here and now he's going to be a pain again, so try and get him under here. <laughs> I've got him. Alright. Oh, I'm out here again. Right. These guys are a little bit feisty. <laughs> I'm going to put my phone down so I've got two hands and get back to you. Okay, so the photo's taken and we're just about to release it now off into the bush. Right. Next to the, where we got it on the road. But yeah, very stunning little snake. These guys are uh, viviparous, viva so they give birth to live young. Usually about seven, which is quite interesting. But yeah, about to just let him go here. Off into the bush. go find some geckos. These are known as semi-arboreal, so as you can see here as it climbs this little twig, um, they spend most of their time on the ground but will climb. So I guess with him, you know, us taking photos of it, etc, it wants to escape into the tree. But yeah, cute little snake, they do pack a punch. But yeah, well, we're going to do a couple more laps. We may or may not find anything else, but that's target species of the night ticked off, which is really cool. And he's about to fall. <laughs> Off he goes into the leaf litter. <laughs> All right, so that's probably where I'm going to call it a night. Um, didn't find anything else on the last couple passes of the road. Um, but we did get the target species, which is always a good thing. Uh, first blackback snake for Aaron so he gets to tick that one off the list which is good um but yeah thanks for watching hopefully you liked what you saw if you did please hit that like button subscribe all the good stuff you know and check out my instagram for you know shots uh, that I haven't had on youtube videos so thanks for watching and hopefully see you again soon